I'm the senior historian at the National Underground Railroad Freedom Center here in Cincinnati. Lincoln Heights was the first black incorporated city in America. I have a sense of pride, and as I think most of my friends do, about having been around people who started with nothing and made sure that we didn't forget it. But we owe each other because they went through something that was unique. You know, I grew up seeing black police chiefs, black fire chiefs, black people responsible for everything that went on where I was. And when they came to people's houses, they knocked and they took their hat off. I haven't seen it anywhere but here. You know, it, it was an honest slice of life. All we had was each other, and, and we had this constant um, noise in our ear from, from our parents, from our community, making us trying to understand that if we didn't uh, respect each other and support each other, then uh, we didn't have anything else. If we lose a black man or a young black woman, all of us lose. If they feel like they're nothing, and you don't help them understand that they have the same potential that other people have. They just need the resources. They just need the support. I was gonna tell you about the kind of spirit that uh, penetrated the community. I think it was just about, I'm good at this, and you're good at that. Um, we don't always agree, but I understand your value as a human being. And I think the community has to decide um, what success is. Um, I don't always think it's about new buildings. It can be a new spirit. Uh, listen to the words of the elders and then write some of your own. Just make sure they're positive.